welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Nigel Gonzaga, your attorney, Del Dalera. Wow, guys, we have seen a lot of videos and seen a, I have seen a lot of friends who are getting married, who are engaged, and I'm so happy for them. And one of my favorite YouTuber, Alex Gonzaga, is already married. So I decided to make a video about sa process of changing your surname kasi di ba tayo mga babae yung nag-change ng ating mga surname kapag nagpapakasal ngayon through this video I want to answer the questions that first is a woman really required to change her surname and second if we are really required by law paano like do we have to go to court mahalagang paalala Ang vlog na ito ay hindi sagot at hindi dapat gamitin kasagutan sa kapitbahay na chismosa. If symptoms persist, consult your lawyer. Since we're talking about love, marriage, rings, please check Love Lace Amore Accessories, which is our sponsor for this video. Um, they have an IG account and I will leave the link on the description box. I love this ring, guys. And obviously, naman, I really love rings. I have a lot of rings on my hand. They make your hands pretty and long. So please check their account. And of course, if you're new to my channel, please click the red button below and subscribe. Okay, let's start with the question. Are women required to change their surname after getting married? Kasi dito sa Philippines, di ba? always or most often than not yung mga babae and to change ng pangalan at pinafollow nila yung uh, pangalan ng kanilang mga husband but ako na na learn ko lang din ito when i was in law school that it is not required under the law because under article 370 of the civil code a married woman may use her maiden first name and surname and add her husband's surname or her maiden first name and her husband's surname or her husband's full name but prefixing a word indicating that she is his wife such as Mrs. Okay, so ayon sa batas guys, sa civil code, hindi naman required ang mga girls na i-follow ang mga surname ng kanilang mga husband. So, for example, example na rin natin ang favorite kung ang YouTuber, Ms. Alex Gonzaga. Her name is Catherine Gonzaga. So, sa number one option, she can use or Catherine Gonzaga dash Murada. Sa number two option, yun po yung traditional, she can use Catherine Murada um, using her first name at saka yung surname na kanyang husband. Or, kung masyado po tayong into being proud na kayo po ay misis or may bahay ng inyong mga husband, you can use Mrs. Mikey Morada. So, Mrs. lang ilalagay at saka pangalan na ng husband niyo. So, these are options, girls, na pwede niyong gamitin after getting married. So, under the law, mga girls, mga atin, mga mare, hindi po tayo required na mag-change ng names natin. But of course, it's always your choice and it will not make you less of a woman if you change your name into your husband's. Hindi po yan nakakalas ng pagkababae naman. Now, let's go to the option two. Yung mga gustong mag-change ng pangalan nila into their husband's surname. Kasi nga, di ba, common to sa atin at saka parang culturally required siya kahit hindi siya required by law na i-change natin ang ating mga surname. Ngayon, ang question is, which is a lot of women have already asked me about this, na kailangan ba nilang um, mag-change through court process? Um, well, the answer is no. Iba po ito dun sa mga common na may mga clerical errors or yung mga kailangan talaga ng korte, like sa clerical errors ng surname, which is, I think, another content for another video. Iba po yun. When it comes to changing your surname into your husband's, mas easier po siya. Kasi actually, di ba, you can use any name naman. Um, 
it only matters when when we go to the government or in government transactions especially in our IDs dito ba kailangan consistent kayo especially sa passport it's very important if you are an OFW hindi pwedeng basta-basta or kahit ano na yung gagamitin natin kaya uh, I will tell you the requirements for some of the most important government agencies that you have IDs like PhilHealth and your passport. Okay, so let's start with PhilHealth. Um, ito mga requirements na ito guys ha, is for your ID only. Hindi mo na kailangan magpunta ng court. So for example, PhilHealth. Requirements of PhilHealth. Um, PhilHealth member registration form marriage certificate, old PhilHealth ID card, and valid ID for backup purposes. And then, let's go to SSS. I suggest before going to SSS, you talk to your HR first, and then baka kasi pwede sila na lang yung mag-asikaso dito. But, if not, here are the requirements. Marriage certificate, member's data change request, um, humid card or two valid IDs and authorization letter for your employer to process your change of status from single to married in SSS. And of course, let's go to pag-ibig, yung dahilan kung bakit ka nag-change ng status mo. The requirements are pag-ibig, mid, number, photocopy of marriage certificate, valid ID, and member's change of information form. Ayan. So, nasabi ko nga kanina na one of the most important uh, government ID or um, form, of course, is passport. Especially sa mga OFW. So, you really have to change this to make it official. Now, here are the requirements. You really have to go there. Personal appearance, then confirmed appointment, which you can do online. Duly accomplished application form. Original marriage certificate authenticated by the PSA and the current passport with photocopy of the, your biodata page, two valid IDs with one photocopy each with married name if possible and proof of payment. Okay, yan po ang mga requirements to some of the crucial or important na mga government agencies if you want to change your name sa mga IDs. I hope that again this video will help you dun sa mga magpapakasal na at nagpakasal na. Congratulations sa inyo mga girls. And no, I'm not getting married. I just want you to know what you should do. I want to help you. And again, if you want to have a very cute accessory, check out this one. I really like it. I'm cute. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.